At one point in his life, Derrick Rose had it all. Growing up in Englewood, Chicago, he defied every odd imaginable to become one of the best young players the NBA has ever seen. He was a first team All-American in college. He was taken number one overall by his hometown team. He was the youngest MVP in NBA history. He had the drive, he had the talent, and he was playing for one of the best teams in the NBA. Everything in his basketball career was set up for him to emerge as one of the greatest point guards the NBA has ever seen. But then came the injury. In game one of the 2012 playoffs, Derek went up for an athletic finish, something he had done thousands of times in his life before. But this time, something was different. This time, something went horribly wrong. Rose would collapse, and right away, it was clear that this was serious. He had torn his ACL, and from that moment on, nothing would ever be the same. Six seasons later, the man who was once seen as the future of the league has yet to make another all all-star team and has spent season after season suffering from injury after injury. The career of Derrick Rose is a reminder to us all that life is not fair, but what if we could go back? What if we could stop this play from happening? What if Derrick Rose was never injured and instead became the legend he once seemed destined to be? So what's up guys, Mike here, and yes, we are back with another what if. Today we are doing what if Derrick Rose was never injured, and personally, I'm so excited for this. Because if you guys don't know, I am a Chicago Bulls fan, and so Derrick Rose getting injured scarred me for life. Anyway, if you are new to the whole what if game, what we're going to be doing in this video is going back to the moment that Derrick Rose got injured and then completely rewriting NBA history. And yeah, one injury might not seem like it would affect the NBA too much, but trust me, so much changes. So I hope you enjoy, and if you do enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe because these videos take so long to do. And when I see you guys subscribe from this video, I know that it's worth it to make them, and I know that you guys want more. Also, you know, leave a thumbs up and enjoy the video. So jumping into the 2012 season, everything stays the same except that Derrick Rose does not get injured in the first round. This means that the Bulls do get past Philadelphia and beat the Celtics in round two, but are still no match for a Miami Heat team in their prime. So the Heat win the NBA championship and the 2012 draft remains exactly the same because nothing changed. But if you are looking forward to changes, don't worry, they're coming. For now though, let's jump to 2013, where again, not much changes, except that the Chicago Bulls are now a much improved team. With Derrick Rose replacing Nate Robinson as the team's starting point guard, the Bulls win an extra 13 games and finish as the second seed in the East. This season, Rose replaces Chris Paul as a member of the first team All-NBA and continues to prove that he is one of the NBA's best players. Unfortunately, his team still does not have enough talent to support him and Chicago still falls to the eventual champions, the Miami Heat, in six games in the Eastern Conference Finals. And so now, we're at the 2000. 13 NBA draft and things finally begin to change. Because the Bulls win an extra 13 games, several Eastern Conference teams lose a few more games, which means the Pistons now end up with the third pick and luck into future all-star Victor Oladipo. And with the fourth pick, it's the Orlando Magic who take Nerlens Noel, and it's the Magic who trade Noel to the Sixers for Drew Holiday and a top five protected pick. Wrapping up this draft, the Kings actually luck out for once and drop to the eighth picks, so instead of taking Ben McLemore, they take the next best shooting guard available in CJ McCollum. Kings fans, you're doing something right! And because the draft is over, it's now the 2014 season, and again, not many big changes take place other than the Pelicans losing six more games without Drew Holiday and the Chicago Bulls winning an extra 12 games as Derrick Rose leads the Bulls to 60 wins and the top seed in the East. Rose will finish second in the MVP voting this year to Kevin Durant after he averages 28 points and 9 assists per game, but this MVP snub only drives him to reach his ultimate goal. The first two rounds of the playoffs see the Bulls easily sweep past the Hawks and Wizards, as Defensive Player of the Year Joakim Noah dominates down low, while Jimmy Butler emerges as a reliable second offensive option next to Rose. In the Eastern Conference Finals, the Bulls are again matched up against the Miami Heat, but this time, things are different. Derrick Rose has become playoff hardened and now he's ready
ready to rise to the occasion. In game one, Rose sets the tone with a monster 42 point performance and the Heat find themselves overmatched. The series will end in six games as the Bulls finally reach the finals in the Derrick Rose era, finding themselves matched up against the San Antonio Spurs. The Bulls would jump out to a 3-2 series lead, which brings us to game six where Chicago finds itself down by one with 32 seconds left. Of course, the ball is put in Derrick Rose's hands and with 17 seconds left, he steps back, hesitates and drives to the basket to give the Bulls a lead with the shot clock turned off. On the other end, the ball winds up in Manu Ginobili's hands and he's forced to take a tough shot at the buzzer and it's off the mark, which means Chicago wins the 2014 NBA championship and Derrick Rose is named the finals MVP. This is a huge accomplishment already for Rose, but life goes on in the NBA and now it's the 2014 NBA draft. In this draft, it's the Detroit Pistons who luck out and with the number nine odds land the number one pick, actually saving them from giving their first round pick to the Hornets because it was top eight protected. This means that with the first pick in the 2014 NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Andrew Wiggins. Yup, the Pistons get Andrew Wiggins with the number one overall pick and the Cavaliers fall all the way to pick number 10. You can probably guess what that means, but to round out this draft, Aaron Gordon becomes a Laker, Marcus Smart goes to Utah, Julius Randle speeds up the process in Philly, Zach Levine gives Orlando a good draft pick, and Dario Sarge goes to Minnesota. These are relatively small changes compared to the 2014 offseason, however. As remember, this was the year that LeBron returned to Cleveland. However, the Cavs no longer have Wiggins, so they can no longer trade for Kevin Love. So LeBron returns to Miami for at least one more year. As for Kevin Love, the main players in the original K-Love sweepstakes were Golden State, Boston, Chicago, and Cleveland. In this new NBA, Golden State still keeps Klay Thompson, Cleveland doesn't have the pieces, Chicago is able to sign Pau Gasol, so they don't need to make a trade, and Boston? Well, Boston is very interested. The Celtics move their top five pick Dante Exum as well as Jeff Green, Jared Solinger, Kelly Olynyk, and James Young for Kevin Love and some salary cap fillers, which is pretty exciting because the NBA is changing fast. And trust me, changes will continue, but let's look at the 2015 season before we get into that. In this season, the Cavs plummet to 12th in the East as they lose 25 more games without LeBron and Love. Meanwhile, the Timberwolves win six more games with the veterans they acquired for Love, the Heat win 13 more games because LeBron is LeBron, and the Bulls pick up 12 more wins and finish as the best team in the Eastern Conference as Derrick Rose continues to dominate the NBA. Originally, this was Steph Curry's first MVP season, but in this world, it's Derrick Rose who claims this year's throne. D. Rose will finish this year with averages of 28 points, 8 assists, and 6 rebounds per game and the voters award him with his second MVP. What's more, the East is wide open and the Bulls take advantage as remember, originally the Cavs were still able to reach the finals without Kyrie and Love. In this NBA, it's the Bulls who cruise to the NBA finals as the Heat are still able to beat the Hawks but are simply no match for Chicago as Chris Bosh misses the playoffs with an injury. And in the finals, Derrick Rose furthers his dominance over Steph Curry as Curry struggles to match Rose's unreal athleticism. Derek will go off in these finals, averaging over 30 points per game, while Jimmy Butler, a first-time All-Star in 2015, establishes himself as a serious number two option with a game two explosion of 34 points and a clutch game five three-pointer that gives the Bulls a two-point lead with under a second left. Remember, this Warriors team, while talented, was still somewhat lucky that the Cavs were extremely unhealthy as the original 2015 finals still saw Cleveland win two games despite Anderson Verjao being the team's second leading scorer. Chicago is not unhealthy and is just a better team with MVP Derrick Rose, so it is the Chicago Bulls who wind up winning the 2015 NBA Finals in five games, as Rose is again named the NBA's Finals MVP. And yeah, Chicago is certainly benefiting in this what if, and guess what? The Knicks aren't doing too bad either. 
either as because the timberwolves win six more games new york ends up with the first pick and with the first pick in the 2015 nba draft the new york knicks select Carl Anthony Towns. So sorry, Knicks fans. I know you love Porzingis, but you get Carl Anthony Towns, which is definitely an upgrade, at least at this point in time. From there, the Wolves are forced to settle for D'Angelo Russell, and the Sixers move down to the fourth pick, which means they aren't able to take a massive bust and instead settle for Kristaps Porzingis. What a shame, Sixers fans. What a shame. Finishing this up, Miles Turner goes to the Jazz, and it's the 2015 offseason where big things are happening. LeBron's contract is up in Miami and he is not happy with the current roster so he looks to make a move. And observing the NBA's current landscape, it is the Boston Celtics who become his main target. So LeBron joins Kevin Love in a stunning move. Meanwhile, LaMarcus Aldridge is again a free agent and the Chicago Bulls zero in on him. They know their window with Pau Gasol is closing so the Bulls dump Pau, Taj Gibson, and Aaron Brooks on the Pistons for a first round pick and filler to clear cap space so that they can sign LaMarcus Aldridge. In turn, the Spurs steal Paul Millsap away from the Hawks, and now it is the 2016 season, and massive changes in rosters lead to massive changes in team records. The Hawks, Timberwolves, and Cavs all lose a lot more games, while the Bulls, again, are a way better team and win an extra 16 games. We've talked a lot about Chicago so far, though, so now let's talk about the Detroit Pistons, who, with Victor Oladipo, Andrew Wiggins, Pau Gasol, and Andre Drummond win 12 more games and jump to the third seed in the Eastern Conference. Detroit views themselves as a real contender in the East this year, but it's hard to believe that anyone will beat Boston. Behind the consistent play of LeBron and Kevin Love to go along with the phenomenal scoring of Isaiah Thomas, the Celtics finish as the number one seed in the Eastern Conference and dominate everyone on the way to the finals as remember. Joe Kim Noah misses the entire postseason with an injury, so she Chicago is simply overmatched. In these finals, Boston is met by the Golden State Warriors, who no longer set the wins record with just 71 wins, but are still loaded with talent. And when the dust settles, it is the Warriors who come out on top as Isaiah struggles to match the output that Kyrie produced in the original 2016 matchup. Golden State will win the 2016 finals in seven games as Steph Curry finishes off his MVP season with a 31.12 assist performance in game seven that leads the Warriors to a 14 point series clinching victory. And yes, we're at the draft, and even though the Sixers win an extra seven games this year, they still only win 17 games total, so they get the first pick and wind up again with Ben Simmons. If you're counting at home, that means Philly will eventually start Simmons, Joel Embiid, and Kristaps Porzingis, which is terrifying. Meanwhile, Brandon Ingram goes to the Timberwolves, Chris Dunn goes to the Lakers, and it's the 2016 offseason where big moves are coming. Because the Warriors won the championship, KD no longer feels comfortable copping out and joining a super team, so he does the next big thing. Pairing up with Al Horford, who the Celtics are no longer interested in, and we'll get to why that is in a second, Durant forms his own big three in Houston as the Rockets move Trevor Ariza and other contracts to sign both KD and Al in a game-changing move. This means that the Warriors keep Harrison Barnes, and looking at the Bulls, it's apparent that Joe Kim Noah has some serious injury problems, so Chicago looks to replace him. The Bulls no longer have Rondo or Wade or Robin Lopez eating up their cap space, so they're able to steal Hassan Whiteside away from Miami and then re-sign Derrick Rose to form a loaded roster of Rose, Butler, Aldridge, and Whiteside. And now looking back at Boston, LeBron knows his team needs help and fast. So yeah, Brad Stevens was able to tell Danny Ainge that he had no interest in DeMarcus Cousins in the real NBA, but LeBron knows just how talented talented Boogie is, and he's able to convince Brad that they can make it work. Which means the Celtics throw an unbeatable offer at the Kings and Sacramento quickly accepts, as Boston sends Jalen Brown, Jay Crowder, Amir Johnson, and the 2018 Nets pick to Sacramento for DeMarcus and Henry Ellison. And yeah, I know what you're thinking, 
the Pelicans didn't give up anything close to that for DeMarcus, but that was near the trade deadline when the team was getting desperate. Getting Boogie in the offseason would require a much better package. And finally, we are at the 2017 season, and yes, the Celtics are the new team that everyone will not stop talking about. Fueled by the incredible trio of LeBron James, Kevin Love, and DeMarcus Cousins to go along with the contributions by a man named Isaiah Thomas, the Celtics proved themselves to be an absolute juggernaut and win an NBA best 67 games. And yes, this is a year of new teams, as it's the Celtics who defeat the Bulls in the Eastern Conference Finals while the Rockets take down the Warriors in the West. From there, LeBron puts on another heroic performance and takes back a championship he lost to the Bulls when he was in Miami. So it is the Boston Celtics who end 2017 with yet another banner hanging in their rafters. And there we have it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed again If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe We do videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday around 6 p.m Eastern and the NBA playoffs are here The NBA draft is coming up NBA free agency is after that What I'm saying is there are going to be some sick videos coming up soon other than that if you're already subscribed Thank you so much for supporting you're awesome We all know it and as always have an awesome day and cue that music